We'll be creating a Twilio powered device that keeps watch over dangerous and remote locations and alerts stakeholders of intrusions or safety concerns. This low cost, reliable and technical security solution captures images at regular intervals and pushes them through Twilio's pipeline to a third party API such as sidehound.com for analysis. Constantly monitoring those results, the device notifies stakeholders of intrusions that threaten assets or safety. This device requires some knowledge of Raspberry Pi, software installation, and some Linux features including the command line. Assemble the 3G modem. Now, set up the Raspberry Pi Zero base hardware and software. You must first set up the Raspberry Pi Zero outside of the completed system, but this should only take a few minutes. On a separate PC, go to the Raspberry Pi Foundation and download the latest version of their Raspbian operating system. We recommend going with the full version as opposed to the light alternative. Set up the software on an SD card. Now it's time to power the Raspberry Pi Zero. Plug it in and the Raspberry Pi Zero will power on by itself. Set up the Raspberry Pi Zero remote monitor software. You can technically do this next step from the Raspberry Pi Zero if you have an internet connection. The 3G modem will work wonders here, if already assembled. The first step is to enable the camera and there are two different options to do that. The first option is from the desktop. Just go to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration. The second option is to do it from the command line. Type the following, sudo raspi-config. In the menu system, scroll down to enable camera. Now go to the GitHub location and download the Python script then copy our Python script onto the Pi. You just need to run the command from the command line as referenced in our instructions. You can't manually run the script every time you want to use the camera, so we are going to configure the Raspberry Pi Zero to run the script at startup. Time to assemble the components inside the box. Push the USB bulkhead into place and run the USB cable along the track and through to the other side of the enclosure. Now install the Raspberry Pi Zero camera and camera cable. The camera will sit on the opposite side of the bulkhead. You will notice that the connector is much smaller, so be gentle. There is a shallow rectangular pocket in the top portion of the enclosure. This is where the Raspberry Pi Zero will sit. Plug in your USB cables to the appropriate places, referencing the instructions. Attach your plexiglass enclosure on one side and flip the enclosure. Once you have configured the power and data connection on the other side, attach the last plexiglass enclosure. That's it. The camera should be on and ready to deploy, ensuring you have constant visibility into whether your property and assets are safe and secure.